Hi, I'm Grace Saban. I'm in the class of 2016 and I'm going to be a senior this year. I do service because I think it is important to find God in the joy that the recipient and givers have when taking part in actions of service. Right, my name is John Jagman. I'm also in the class of 2016. I'm going to be a senior this year. Um, I find service important because if you look at the news today and that sort of thing, the world all people talk about is like horrible things that are happening and by helping someone and making it visible that people are still good and there's a lot of good in the world still that that really uplifts a lot of people and it just start, sort of spreads those feelings around so that when you do service you basically make more people want to do service you just make everyone feel good so um, the first couple service projects I did um, were in middle school so that's when I first got introduced into service um, it was mostly just like minor food pantries and that sort of thing so it, was, it made me really uncomfortable at first. I mean, you're meeting people that you, the kind of people that you probably never met before. Um, because society today, it's a really, they really divide you. I mean, just, it's unintentional, but it's true. So you don't meet people that aren't like you a lot. So when you do service, you meet the poor, the, you know, the hungry, those sort of people. And just by meeting them, you feel uncomfortable. It almost feels threatening to you. But you get to know them and you realize that there are people in the world that really need your help. And it just, it really changes you, I think, because you see that the world is not just like you. Um, you feel a lot more like an individual. And honestly, it's like one way you can see God because just the difference of humanity, I guess, is what I'm going for here. Um, it's just amazing because there are people that, while you feel that your life may be hard, there are people that have it so much worse than you, and that sort of thing. So, When I first started service, it was here at St. Vider when I was told I needed to do the 25 hours as a freshman. And initially, I thought that would be challenging because I thought 25 was a large amount. But then, as the years here at Vider, as I've grown, I realized that 25 hours is not a challenge because when you get into what you're doing, when you do something that you're passionate about, rather it be at a food pantry or helping the homeless, you enjoy the time you're there and you see the joy that like God's given you, that you feel and you feel that you're doing God's work that he's asked you to do, passing it on to others through the service. So it doesn't only help you, but then you can also see how much you're helping others who have it so much worse than you, but they're still, they still are keeping their head up high because they're thankful for all the work that you are doing for them, and they're thankful that God has sent you to help them in their times of struggle. Service hours in general, I guess, are important in St. Bider, not only because they are a requirement for graduation, but it's more than that. I mean, it shows that the school as a group can be a helpful, like, entity for society, I guess is what I'm going for. Um, by doing something for the community as a St. Vitus student, you're not only showing that you as an individual care about other people, but you're also showing that St. Vitus as an institution cares about other people. And it really, you know, helps bring forth Christian values and that sort of thing. So it builds a lot of community respect for the uh, school. And also, I mean, further down the line, a lot of service hours does contribute to college and that sort of thing. It's something good that you, people can measure how much you care about others by. It helps us grow together because we're doing it as groups and whatnot so we get to know the rest of the class you're in the rest of the school as well as you can find what you enjoy doing yourself you can see am I passionate about this do I enjoy this and little do you know the joy you may find in that service work you're doing may help you decide what you want to do when you get older if this is going to be something you are passionate and where you want to grow and you want to continue doing these service activities even after you have the amount of hours you need. St. Bider is not only great due to the education we provide, but also because of how the service affects us. So Bider gives us that ability to support others and gain support from people through education and service. Okay, so with St. Vider, when you go here, you not only receive a really good actual classroom education, like Booksmart and that sort of thing, but you also receive a new outlook on the world through service. Basically, it's kind of like a school for your heart, almost, or your soul. Um, because when you do service, you see other people and other aspects of the world that 
might affect you differently than just seeing a normal person in your life. Like, if you see someone who's in need and you're actually helping them, it really makes you feel something inside. It changes, like, you're not, you're no longer desensitized. Like, throughout your life you might have seen pictures of it, like, on TV or in the news or something like that. So really it doesn't affect you as much as it should. But when you see them in person, it actually really hits you. So, in that way, St. Vider, through our service program, really provides an education for your soul and like contributes Christian values and that sort of thing. Hi guys, Matt Fitzgerald here from the class of 2016, here to show you how to submit your service hours on the new SaintViator.com. First, what you want to do is navigate to SaintViator.com. That's S-A-I-N-T-V-I-A-T-O-R.com. You'll be presented with our homepage, which is brand new for this year. And then you want to click Quick Links up here and then click Student Records. You'll be brought to our portal page, which will allow you to access the two sections of Student Records, Parent Access and Student Access. Parent access is for obvious parent use, and it has more access to master records and things like that. Student access, on the other hand, allows students to look at their grades and submit service hours. You cannot submit service hours in the new in the uh, parent access area. So click the go button at the student access area, enter your ID number and your password. You should have received this in the mail. Once you're logged in, you should have this home screen. This screen would normally show your grades and your schedule, but since it's summer and I'm recording this during the summer, it does not show any grades because they're currently working on my schedule for next year. What we're concerned about is the Christian Service tab on the left-hand side of the page. Click that and you'll be redirected to the Christian Service Activity Log. This is what allows you to actually look at what service you have completed and submit new service. So you could see it's broken down each year by each grade, what, in what category of service hours you have done. There are three categories of service hours. Marginalized, which is considered all the people who are on the edge of society. This could include things like volunteering at a homeless shelter, working at a food pantry, or doing a whole bunch of other things. This is directly affecting the people who are cast out in society, such as the poor, the elderly, the homeless, things like that. Other is anything that does not fall into marginalized or the in-house category. And the in-house category is for service that you do at St. Vider. So like volunteering to lead retreats or doing other in-house activities would be the in-house category. You're required to do 25 hours each year for your time here at St. Viator. During the first semester you have to do 10 hours and by the second semester you have to complete 15 hours additional after the 10 for a total of 25. Down here you will act this is where you actually click to submit your service hours. You can see it's broken down by grade level, so if you're a freshman, you click 09, sophomore 10, junior 11, senior 12. I'm a senior, so I'm going to click 12, and here you'll be able to see the submission form. It's pretty easy to use. You, pr you put in your service date, and that has to be in this format, like 714. Your site name and this has all the service sites that Viator students use the most. But if you may not find your service site listed here, you click other site not listed and then you are able to type in the service site and choose the category in which it falls. Here you're able to submit your hours, the actual number of hours you spent at this specific establishment doing service. And then over here are two checkboxes. One of them is submit, one of them is delete. You click submit, that means your service hours are going to be approved. And once you do click submit and then save the changes I have made, you are you can see here there's a little blue line in this table up here that says journal of submitted service pending approval. 
That means that the service coordinator still has to look and verify that you actually did those hours. So once we head back to the summary, you could see all of the hours again. And if we go into my service log from last year, you could see what approved and denied listings look like. So you could see all these approved listings. Those are the ones in green and the denied listing that's in red. The, the service hour, the sorry, the service coordinator was unable to verify that I actually did 15 hours at the Alpine charity. I didn't do them. I just wanted to show people what a denied uh, request looked like. So that's what the uh, service hours approved and then denied table looks like. And anything that's green gets credited to your total of service hours. So you can see my totals here of service hours that I've done. And that's applied to your uh, yearly requirements as you can see here. And so each year you need 25 hours. You have to do 10 hours the first semester, 15 hours the second semester. So that's how to submit your service hours on the new service system. And I hope this helped and have a great day.